Altair Sim Solid. What is it? What does it do? Why is it different? Let's talk about that next. All right, Altair Sim Solid. Let's cover the basics first before we dive into the deep end. There's some technical details in this one. So Altair Sim Solid basically is a structural analysis tool, uh, but it's really it is truly meant to be used in the design phase. Really do to help engineers get insight into the performance of their designs so they can make better decisions. Now, we hear that a lot about a lot of different tools. So why is SimSolid different? Let's dive into that. So first off, um, SimSolid does not use uh, a finite element method. Uh, it uses a meshless uh, method of calculating stresses and deflections and all that type of thing. Um, it, it does this in a couple ways. So let me describe it as a process. Okay. So you, you basically you open or you have your 3d geometry, uh, SimSolid immediately applies some um, AI and machine learning algorithms to analyze the geometry, the unsimplified geometry. Um, without anything removed, no features, no components removed at all, even large assemblies. Um, and what it does is, uh, based on its knowledge of past simulations and its algorithms, it applies basically a math model, a set of degree of freedoms uh, to the 3D model to start. And it uses that as a starting point. So it then solves it to get uh, all of the stresses, deflections, uh, all the other measures that you're interested in out of the simulation or the analysis. It then actually compares that to the boundary conditions that you originally set, loads, constraints, um, and it calculates local and global errors against that, right? So. Basically what it's doing is it has all these degrees of freedom, it has a math model, it does the solve, and then it compares it to what you originally intended uh, with the load and the constraint. And is it matching at local, you know, small levels at different parts of the model? And is it matching globally? Uh, and depending on the degree of error that is found, it then goes back and adds more degrees of freedom to different areas where there are errors and it resolves it and it compares it again. So it kind of has this convergence approach to it. Now, um, there's a few things to kind of think about when we look at this type of methodology. Uh, first off, this meshless approach really addresses a lot of the issues that you see with finite element method approaches. Um, usually, depending on the type of element that you're using, you're gonna have a really hard time meshing really long, thin geometry. Um, and there are all sorts of little issues that kind of pop up here and there because of finite element, the finite element approach. This really circumvents that completely because you're not using meshes. Uh, it's using a completely different approach. The second thing is, is that this, the solve for this thing is incredibly fast. Um, and you get results very, very quickly. You don't, you're not sitting around for minutes or even hours. You're literally in seconds, you're looking at results. Um, and it's also highly accurate, specifically for structural analyses. NAFEMS uh, ran a benchmark. NAFEMS is a third party um, nonprofit organization uh, that uh, does training for uh, analysts uh, it's a global organization, uh, and they did a benchmark uh, independently on their own on the uh, accuracy of the results out of SimSolid, and it was incredibly accurate, uh, as a matter of fact. And you can find that in one of the latest versions of their magazine. So, you know, in terms of fulfilling the needs of engineers up front, um, it checks a lot of the boxes. Um, you really don't need to remove any components or any features. Uh, so you kind of get around that issue. 
Uh, it's incredibly fast and it's highly accurate. So it's something that, uh, you know, if you're looking at how do you adopt simulation driven design earlier in the design cycle, get feedback to engineers, help them make better decisions earlier, this very well could be a good fit. That's it. Take care and talk soon.